The scholarship we are looking at today will help you or assist you in uh, undertaking your program in the United States and this does not have any admission application fee. There are two different methods you can use to apply to this particular school for this uh, funded scholarship and one thing you also need to understand is that there are some requirements you need to follow if you are going to be applying for any program at this university and to be assured or to assure you that you are going to get the full funded scholarship you need at this university okay so if you go to the section where it says international undergraduate study you're going to see that they have the international undergraduate scholarship award an annual scholarship up to 12,000 and if you click on this it's going to take you to another page where you can see different information or more information about the undergraduate uh, scholarship uh, perfectly okay so and one thing they also need or uh, you also need to understand is that if you come to this section right here if you look at this table uh, critically you can see international undergraduate scholarship scholarship annual award uh, annual award per year total award over four years then requirements renewal criteria okay so before you start your application you need to understand what you are stepping into before you actually uh, begin the process okay so if you are going to be getting a funding for one year program you are going to or uh, for one year uh, tuition or other expenses what you are going to be getting is just 12,500 and here it says undergrad international student scholarship first year student that is if you are just looking to study in this school okay so what is the name of this school where is this school located how can you apply what are the programs that are available at this school all of these are information that we are going to be discussing in today's video what i just need you to do at this point is to click on that like button so that other people that are looking for this information can easily find it okay so and if you scroll down you can read more information about uh, other information and if you click here you, you can see a list of other scholarship that are actually available okay so i was planning to make a video about uh, a graduate assistantship or funding in canada when uh, I just uh, say okay let me do this particular uh, video first for some people that might want to apply okay so if you come back to this first page and if you scroll back here you are going to see that currently this uh, school is still taking admission and the deadline is 15th of November so if you are watching this video right now or next month or the next two months you can still apply to this funded scholarship right okay so for you international students that require visa the deadline is actually 15 and this school has been open since january and i wasn't actually aware okay so uh you can still apply right now okay and if you scroll down uh to this section where it says uh there's a particular session I want to show you here. Okay, good. Additional require require material. So for your high school, all of this in, uh, undergraduate English language proficiency. Okay, so you need to make sure you check that. And if you come to this section, it says submitted online application. It's free and easy. Or you may apply through the common application. Okay. So most of you that have been following my video trend about uh, schools in the United States that you can study for totally free or you can study for free, then you should understand what the common application is right now. And if you've not followed my videos, uh, maybe previously on United States, Common App is a central application portal where you can apply to as many schools as possible. Okay, so once you have a Common App account, you can file application to a lot of schools. And when you are trying to apply, make sure uh, you you create an account first then fill in your information select the school and all of those information okay so if you come back to this particular page and come and click on this common app if you, if i come back to this page you are going to see that there's an id here so this id is part uh, is majorly for this particular school that we are looking at today okay and if you click on this online application it's going to take you to the uh main online application portal or main online application for undergraduates where you can now start the application so here you can now click uh um 
uh, Dearborn okay so uh, then you also need to check for the admission criteria but before then I want us to go back and go and look at the available undergraduate programs okay so if you come back to this page this international student page okay on this page we have a lot of courses that are available at this school right now and if you look at it it said the university of Michigan uh, Dearborn you have more than 100 options for majors okay so the university that we are actually talking about today is the university of Michigan Dearborn okay so I don't want you guys to mistake this with the uh, University of Michigan that I posted uh, some month back I think that's one month or two months ago now where you can apply to and get a lot of funding if you are looking into chemistry uh, physics biology majorly stem program right you can get a lot of funding in that particular school it's also university of michigan but this one is university of michigan dearborn the other one is the university of michigan tech so you might want to make sure you are uh, when you are typing or when you are searching for University of Michigan, then you are typing the right thing. So if you go to my channel, search for University of Michigan, then you can see that university right there. And a lot of people are getting funding from that particular school as well. Okay. So once you come to this particular uh, major page where you have the list of programs, so you want to click on this plus icon. When you click on that plus icon, you are going to see all the available programs behavioral biology, behavioral science, biochemistry, bioengineering, chemistry, computer science, game design. All of these are programs that are available. So you want to make sure you do justice to any of these programs to check the requirements before you actually start your application so that you can know the documents that is required for you to submit for your application to be completed okay so once you come to or any of this program make sure you just click on it read more requirement let's say we click on sociology right now let's click on this and see more information about the sociology program are going to see career opportunities all of this information you are going to find it on this part full-time sociology faculty fasting banner pamela Arizon. so all of these are people that you must get yourself familiar with degree requirement okay so all of these are information that you don't want to miss so I, I don't want this video to be too long there's a video here that you can watch to have more understanding about the program okay so make sure you check this the program go if you click on that competence and sociology theory competence more about sociology the major uh, optional concentration all of these are the information you can find on the course page so once you are satisfied with the program or you are satisfied with the program you want to apply to then the next thing you want to go and start now is to go to this particular page where we have uh, the uh, language proficiency then there are information about language proficiency here uh, those country that the uh, language proficiency is being waived for those people who are also a native speaker of English that does not require the uh, the language test all of this information are on this page so make sure when I bring a video for you or a school that have scholarship or a school that doesn't have an application fee like this one make sure you also do your own research because most time or in many cases I'm, my eyes can overlook many things maybe I do not uh, look at that so if you also make your own research then you can get more details about other information and if you think you have any question make sure you drop it at the comment box I'm going to do well to respond to them if you have any contribution regarding this video drop it at the comment box if you find this video useful make sure you click on that like button now let's go straight to the application page where we are going to start our application okay so I would like us to use the common app but I would also like us to use uh, the uh, official uh, school website so if I click on apply now let's see where it take us to take us should take us to the uh, previous page which we were looking at okay congratulations on your decision to apply to University of Michigan Dearborn one of the most selected okay so select your student type the first thing you want to click is the uh, international students 
okay it brings us to this page i think that's the same page uh where we started right okay select your student type again freshman okay good okay you see it still brings us back to the same page where we started the video from okay so i'm going to click on this online application though if you already have a common application uh login credential you can just use that to apply to that particular school okay so when this page loads up it's going to ask us to create our account you know the normal procedure for application now you upload all your documents make sure that you upload all the required documents that you need to upload okay so once you come to this page you're going to see just like a blank page here you scroll down you click on sign up here this button have too close okay so which is very very bad for user experience you, you know okay so once you come to sign up page you put in your first name your last name your email you submit it they send you a confirmation email when you uh, pick up the confirmation link you confirm your email address you start providing your personal information your educational background uh your uh your program that you've chosen on the program page the program you want to apply for i mean you show interest for the scholarship and you know you are done with the application okay so if you follow all this step critically and you also come to this website to come and make your own research then i believe you should get your funding okay okay so make sure you do justice to all the information remember if you are going to be getting twelve thousand per year you need to maintain a, a 3.0 cumulative uh in your first year then uh you also need to earn 24 credits per academic year fall and winter then for the other ones renewable for up to eight semester or completion of a bachelor degree whichever come first okay so which means if you are getting any of this then uh you, you could be getting up to fifty thousand for a four year uh bachelor program you could also be getting for forty thousand for uh that is renewable uh in the subsequent year and you there's also i found a graduate funding on this i can't really remember i found a graduate funding on this particular page uh let me see if is here graduate domestic and international student so you see it here so you can click on it if you are looking for graduate funding from this school okay so if this video interests you and you find it useful please make sure you click on that like button it is very very important for me and also other people that are looking for this information to find it if you are also new on this channel please make sure you click on that like button you know i always give you tips information about how you can apply to full funding how you can apply to schools without application fee if you are looking to migrate easily with other opportunity i share them with you on this channel so you want to make sure you stick around and uh you follow me on instagram follow me on facebook join my uh telegram channel and we keep making it's a movement okay so till then i'm going to catch up with you in another one peace